Hello, Ben Kingston, the 5-Minute Pastor here. I want to talk to you today about uh, something that I have used quite extensively uh, when it comes to um, handling an emotional stressor. Uh, something has popped up it, 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 or it's brewing or whatever the case may be. And, and this is what I counsel people all the time. It's helped me. It's helped my wife. It's helped our friends and the such. Uh, let the air out of the balloon. When someone comes and, and sits down with me and, and they've got an issue or a problem, and I mean it's big type thing to them, I'll ask them. So let's just assume the worst has happened or will happen. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? God forbid, and, and please don't get me wrong, suicide is an extremely volatile and real issue. But short of that, what are you going to do? Well, most of the folks that I deal with have a, a Christian worldview background. And if you don't, refer to that video, please. They're going to serve the Lord. They're going to struggle through. And they're going to do the right thing. Now, all of a sudden, you've let the air out of the balloon. So essentially, that's what I try. If I'm in just in a, a hurry, it, it kind of blows up on me and I'm faced with, okay, how can I help this person immediately? That's what I try to tell them. Let the air out of the balloon. What are you going to do if this happens? You're going to do what you did yesterday. You're going to serve the Lord. You're going to do the right thing. But I've got a few notes here to help you if you've got time type thing to work through a little more. First of all, ask yourself three questions. The first question is this. Is there a physical, spiritual, emotional, social, intellectual problem already going on that is the real issue and not this issue? If so, turn your attention back to that issue and not a new issue. So many times in our life, the real problem is not the problem that's right in front of us. The real problem is a, a root problem. So we need to, again, let the air out of the balloon. This isn't that big of a deal, but we do need to mess with this. That is a big deal. Number two, can I place value on this issue, therefore knowing what response to give to it? Seven to ten, urgent and important, must deal with immediately. So you're still letting the air out of the balloon, but you're dealing with the issue. Four to six, important, but not urgent. I, I can compartmentalize this. And I can get to it later. One to three, not important, just aggravating. So category one, drop everything and take care of it. Category two, compartmentalize it and pray about it and give it to God. Category three, see it as an attack and move on. Question number three, what if this issue destroys my life? As a Christian, this is our go-to because as Job said, though you slay me, I will serve you. This lets the error out of the balloon. And so with number three question, we come back to with what we started. If the worst thing happens as a result of this issue, what are you going to do? You're going to do the right thing. And so as long as that is your basis, God, I am surrendered to you. And, and very honestly, that's a whole nother 20 five-minute sessions of whether or not we because, I mean, let's face it, many times that's the issue. We're not where we ought to be. And all of a sudden, what is, what shouldn't be a big deal is a big deal. And so if we can keep this motto that we've talked about in other videos, Christ and Christ alone is our only source of significance and security. It's the air out of the balloon. So let me encourage you, the next time the balloon starts getting blowed up, let the air out of the balloon with these three questions and come back to the reality. What, what are you going to do if the worst happens? When you answer that question, many, many times it will let the air out of the balloon. And then you can, with a calm mind and a clear heart, sit down and address the issue. May the Lord bless you as you apply this truth.